In this video, I'm going to describe how to work on a remote branch. It, here we have a, a repository, a local repository named Sandbox that does have an upstream repository. And we can see here that there are, there are a lot of branches um, in the upstream repository. However, locally, we have only one branch, master. Let's say that I want to work in one of these branches. Let's say it's the, this branch named slave. If I right click on the slave branch, I'm going to see some options. One of them is checkout and one of them is create branch. Now in Git, it's important to remember that we have um, a local branch. Uh, when working with local branches, there is an actual local copy of the branch made to work on. If that local copy of the branch is not made, then you're not able to make modifications to the branch. And this is really what the difference is between checkout and create branch. See, if we select the checkout option, what happens is we're going to get this warning that tells us that we're in a detached head state. So what the detached head state means is that we are we are working, we are looking at the at the um, the branch. We can see here when we look at sandbox, we're looking at the slave branch, but there is no local branch for us to modify still. So if we actually want to work in the slave branch, we actually we need to create a local branch for slave. And so we'll use the create branch option to do that. And when we, when we select that option, you'll see that the default will be the same name, which is good, the slave, and we'll check out the new branch. So we simply select finish. And after we do that, we now see that we have a local branch and we are pointing at that local branch and we can now work in that local branch and make changes.